It has been an absolutely crazy week for Marvel rumors. I want to go over the Blade coming into the MCU rumors. I want to talk about the Fantastic Four possible release date and director revealed. And I want to talk about something that just came out that gives us a big hint on when we will get official word from these films from Kevin Feige. It's like the news, but for nerds. Subscribe so you never miss an episode. A shout out goes to Sean Hanlins. Indeed, they are working on a Guardians of the Galaxy video game. Make sure you stay to the end of the video where we will ask another nerd card question. What's up, everybody? Happy Friday to you. I'm, of course, Josh. This is the Den of Nerds, guys. It's the last day I'm out of town. I appreciate you guys so much for bearing with me this week as things were a little bit wacky with the release schedule and with the videos. If you guys could throw a like on this video, it would really help me out, sort of get us back on track because this week was kind of bad for us with views, mostly my fault. But if you want to help out, drop one of those likes. All right, so let's get into the first bit of news. I want to start with the D23 press release that just came out. D23 is like a Disney sort of convention where people that are invested into the D23 program or investors in Disney can go and check check out the release of all of the new movies and things that are coming out for Disney. Here's what the press release says right here. The Walt Disney Studios will present a behind the scenes look at its blockbuster collection of upcoming films on Saturday, August 24th at 10 a.m. Fans will see what's on the drawing board for the acclaimed filmmakers at Walt Disney Animation Studios and Pixar Animation Studios and get a peek at the exciting slate of live action projects from Disney to Marvel Studios to Star Wars. As always, attendees will be treated to exclusive footage, special guest appearances, and more. Now, D23 has become sort of a bigger deal for Disney as of late. They're really starting to push for their own proprietary version of conventions so they no longer have to, you know, save things for big conventions like San Diego Comic-Con or New York Comic-Con. This seems to be sort of a play to make even more value happen at D23. Now, several weeks back, we did speculate about this leaked Phase 4 slate that's being, you know, out there online. And a lot of us at the time said, yeah, this will be announced very soon, either at D23 or San Diego Comic-Con. Now, San Diego Comic-Con happens a little bit earlier than this convention, SDCC goes from Thursday, July 18th to Sunday, July 21st. And again, the D23 Saturday is August 24th. Now this press release is making a lot of people think that the official slate will be saved for D23. Makes a lot of sense, but there still will be a ton of stuff at Hall H and San Diego Comic-Con. Perhaps they'll talk about some films specifically, like maybe the Black Widow movie, maybe a little bit more about Shang-Chi or the Eternals. Then we expect to get a big release of the actual slate at D23 the fall following month. Now, I think either way, we're looking at that one to three year slate that was leaked, you know, how Marvel's going to not really do a 10 year plan anymore, but sort of have mini arcs with, you know, certain movies and villains being part of those arcs. I think that's what we're going to get released at D23, sort of the one to three year plan, and maybe they'll tease the bigger overarching plan. Now, we can speculate till the cows come home about different things that will be announced at San Diego Comic-Con and D23. I mean, the Disney Plus stuff, some of the Hulu stuff that we're going to get into in just a second. But either way, guys, in the next couple of months, we're going to be getting so much information about the Marvel movies and their future, definitely make sure you're checking back to the channel because we're covering everything. All right, let's get into the rumors coming out about Blade. This was broke by Jeremy Conrad over at MCU Cosmic. The rumor is right now that they are developing a Blade show for Hulu. Now, we'll get back to this in just a second, but it's important to note for the story that Disney did just take majority of control of Hulu. They practically own all of Hulu now. And so this news comes strangely right after it was announced that a Ghost Rider in the Hellstrom show is being developed for Hulu and will fit right alongside The Runaways, which of course is the young adult show that is currently already on Hulu from Marvel. Now, as Jeremy points out in his article at MCU Cosmic, it really seems like Marvel is planning some sort of supernatural branch of their shows for Hulu specifically. It seems pretty cool, but there's a lot of confusion as far as how dark are these shows going to be able to go? We're, we're confused as uh, should we be pumped that they're not on Disney Plus? Is it bad that they're not on Disney Plus? Is this Marvel television because it's on Hulu as opposed to going through Marvel Studios like the Disney Plus content will do? And I saw some people talking online speculating about how 
Hulu could now become sort of their Netflix for more of their hardcore stuff because Disney Plus will likely be marketed more for families and more adult friendly content. I mean, that makes sense. And I'd love for Hulu to sort of have a new sort of edgy Netflix version of stuff. Maybe they can even bring some of the Netflix shows back on Hulu, which was another rumor that circulated a couple of weeks back. Now, Wesley Snipes can totally still play Blade. He's actually done interviews in the past six months where he talks about this, and he's very forward about how he has had discussions with Marvel. And apparently, they both had a plan, or at least that's what Wesley Snipes had implied when he was, you know, interviewed a while back. So I wouldn't be surprised if they literally bring him back for the Blade series. It would be a huge draw, and I think Disney's just in that game, particularly when it comes to Marvel. They, they know how to get draws for the MCU fans to go check content out. Now, finally, let's get into the Fantastic Four stuff. This is very exciting. This rumor was broken by Geeks Worldwide, and apparently there is a rumor that the Fantastic Four movie is sort of being streamlined for a 2022 release. Now, this falls right along with the stuff we've been talking about recently, how it looked like the X-Men would be handled second and the Fantastic Four would be adopted into the MCU first. You know, this falls right in line with that logic. Now, we had also heard rumors that Peyton Reed really wanted to do Fantastic Four. And this report is like putting that out there like you wouldn't believe. So not only is he the front runner to direct, but he has pitched several times to Kevin Feige about what kind of a Fantastic Four movie he'd like to do. And he even pitched to Fox when the Fantastic Four was still at Fox. Peyton Reed is, of course, the director of Ant-Man 1 and Ant-Man 2. Really cool guy. Definitely a big comic book nerd, so we'd be in good hands if he did end up tackling the Fantastic Four. Now, interestingly, Peyton Reed did want the Fantastic Four to exist in the 1960s, and while I think it would be really cool to do a movie in the 1960s, you'd have to explain why nobody mentions the Fantastic Four in any of the MCU up until this point. So if they can work a good explanation for that and still make it work in the 1960s, 60s, I'm down with that. But either way, I'm very excited that it looks like we are going to be getting the Fantastic Four likely done by Peyton Reed in the MCU in 2022, which I know is three years, but that's very soon compared to what we thought. We thought maybe we'd have to wait till five years before any of the Fox stuff would come in. But it looks like Marvel's pretty good to sort of retroactively plug this stuff in and figure out how to streamline it. So what do you think about this? You think it'd be dope if Peyton Reed took the Fantastic Four and we got them in the MCU? MCU in 2022? Do you think that will be announced at either San Diego Comic-Con or at D23, which is stuff we talked about earlier? And of course, let me know what you think about Blade as well. There's just a lot of cool stuff going on with the MCU, guys. We've got a lot of content to be talking about in the next couple of months, which I know you're excited for, and I know you know I'm excited for. Also, I want to plug again the video game channel. Guys, we did a video yesterday, actually two-part video, one on this channel, one on the gaming channel, talking all about Marvel's new video game that is coming out dealing with the Avengers and the possibility of a Marvel gaming universe. If you love gaming and you love Marvel, go check out the video we did yesterday and the other one on the gaming channel. And we are covering a ton of the E3 stuff over on the gaming channel as it goes down throughout next week. So maybe go check that out if you're interested in in that. Now let's check the nerd card before we get out of here. And I want to know what is the name of the video game that we discussed yesterday on the show? The name of it is actually important to the story we did as well. But what is the name of that Marvel game that we talked about on the show yesterday? Answer that question in the comment section below. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and I'll see you in the next video.